Now, the government here in China has named the southern metropolis of Guangzhou as a model for protecting copyright. CCTV's Yin Zhongwang went there to find out how local enterprises in Guangzhou are taking advantage of copyrights to become innovation-oriented. This is Guangzhou, southern China's biggest city, mild and green in the middle of December. At the annual Guangzhou International Documentary Film Festival, it became the sixth national model city in copyright work, a title awarded by the National Copyright Administration. I'm delighted to see copyright has become a very important issue in China because real development of documentary film depends on copyright protection. Copyright, like the patent and the trademark, is a form of intellectual property. It's invisible, but vital to the development of the cultural industry. This publishing house in Guangzhou has succeeded in selling 30 manga book copyrights to European countries. To manage copyrights, we need to have a keen sense to find really good ones and then to protect them from abuse. We treasure copyrights that have lasting creative value that can produce a chain of products. However, in the information age, Copyright is not limited to traditional print. It's gone digital. For this company specializing in geographic data, copyright has helped make it a big provider of digital, spatial, and topographical data. Copyright is central to our success in the information industry. Copyright registration, application, and protection, the whole process is a guarantee of sustainable development for enterprises. Protecting copyright is now key to China's economic future, as it attempts to make its increasingly costly exports more high-tech and more creative with the aim of being an innovation-led nation by 2020. In Zhongwang, CCTV, Guangzhou.